Greeny. Rise and shine. What is this place? What was so cool to me about the first film is you watch this scared kid stand up and become a leader. We get out now, or we die trying. Let's go! He's definitely becoming the true hero that's willing to do anything. We all been with Thomas, and we have to work together to make our way out of the maze. I think it's time we find out what we're really up against. The second movie is very much that journey, that messy journey where he basically states, I know what I'm supposed to do now. Stop Wicked once and for all. These people are not who they say they are. I really only have one question. Whose side are you on? Thomas, who does care about these kids, and he doesn't mind putting them on his back. They lied to us. It's all just been part of their plan. What do they want from us? We don't know who to trust, and we just stick with our leader, Thomas. You got Wicked on your ass, you're never gonna make it. But I know we can make it. So this third movie is really about Thomas dealing with a much larger issue. What are you willing to do to survive, and at the same time saving the world? We're coming up behind! You can't save everyone, Thomas. I can try. This is not an army. This is a small group that is going up against Goliath. They'll never stop. So we're going to stop them. The last city. Wicked's whole base of operations. It's the Nia's den, hermano. That's where we're going. Three years we spent behind walls trying to break out. And now we want to break back in. He'll show up eventually. That's what I'm afraid of. I think the movie being the biggest of the three, of course, will end up with a really satisfying conclusion. We get all the answers we've been looking for. So that's going to be exciting.